Okay, what's up, my brothers? Welcome back to the den. Uh, I have the lights turned off and I have the hoodie on over here, so I feel like a hacker, so you should listen to me because I'm probably very smart with this whole setup. But uh, anyway, I'm making this video because, wait, let me just... Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'm making this video to show you my automations, the new automations, the lead automations, the marketing automations, and the the email automations that I've finally just figured out. So all this was new to me. I've never run these automations and these funnels and leads and all that stuff, Facebook ads, all that stuff I haven't done before. So that was a bit of a learning curve. But now since I've figured it out, let me share the sauce with some of you. So if you're also in a situation where you feel like you're doing a lot of the repetitive work, you're feeling like all these managing the leads, you have all these different sources of leads, maybe your Facebook ads, your YouTube, you have organic, you have uh, some other forms, all these different sources, and maybe you're testing a bunch of different sources and it's all a mess. So I have made this system that just cleans everything up, that is just so efficient, and then I just feel I just feel like there's this huge weight lifted off my shoulders. Because now wherever the leads are coming from, they're all in one place. Let me show you. Yeah. So this is what it looks like now. All the leads are they are here in one place. Can I, can I get this back here? Yeah, okay, no. Yeah, so the leads are all here in one place and wherever I get them from, they're just going to be here. And I have all these automations. All these automations that just work for me from the beginning of the process, which is, you know, getting the lead, acquiring the lead, and adding them to the list that I own, and then adding them to the email sequence and email automation and notifying me about it as well. So this is the process. Let me just show you. The first step, let's say you're using Facebook. What I highly suggest, you okay, you go to your business.facebook.com slash latest. Go to your page where it is set up and click on all tools. And then on all tools, you click on instant forms. So that's going to take you here. It's going to show you the form. So these are the two forms. I have test form and social transformation too. So you go to CRM setup and there'll be so many options to set up. Like you'll have Zapier, you'll have this, you'll have that. I highly, highly, highly recommend you just do Google Sheets. It's simple, it's free, it's not gonna cost you more when you're scaling up because with Zapier, the more tasks you have, it's gonna be more expensive and on top of that, you're gonna be locked into Zapier. Let's say you wanna use make.com instead, which is better than Zapier. Or you wanna use N810 self-hosted, which is what I personally use, it's my favorite. It just requires a bit more of a technical setup. And I have self-hosted it, so it's all completely free for me. Like, look, agents.zenical.com. This is my subdomain. This is my website. And I have full control over the credentials. I have full control over everything that happens here. And I can do unlimited trust. So I don't want to be locked in with Zapier. So uh, Google Sheets is honestly the best way because I'll show you what happens. Now, when I get a lead, it's this is the form. This is the Google Sheets where it just saves all the data. So here is the full name and email, which I've just uh, shortened it. So you can't read it because I don't want to edit the video. I don't want to do all those blur and all. I'm too lazy for that stuff. Anyway, so it saves it. Here. Obviously, you see it's a bit of a mess. Oh, I just got a new lead. Let's go. You guys are my lucky charm, it seems. Awesome. So <laughs> yeah, so oh, this is perfect. I'll show you the process as well. Uh, yeah. So this is where the lead has been added. Obviously, it's a bit messy. So what I do then is I have the automation to send it to my leads hub. This is my leads hub. What's going to happen over here where all the new leads, wherever they come from. Right now, I've only set up the meta ad. So it comes from the lead form. Like, okay, you see, the lead was added there and the automation also automatically added this new lead here. Wow, this is just perfect. The universe has my back over here. See, I'm telling you. And yeah, so now the new lead is added over here and, uh, and like, let's say I have leads from multiple sources. Like I have leads from ConvertKit, I have leads from ManyChat, Instagram Organic, I have from like, Story Replies, I have leads from YouTube, wherever. They're all going to be added over here using this workflow. First, uh, yeah, okay. Yes, Meta Leads Sheet to Leads Hub. Okay, it's just going to load right now. Uh, yeah okay it loaded and you can see this is the trigger this is pretty simple all it does is just formats it in a way that I like it just gets the full name email and the ad set and uh, puts all the all these other details like source and status and tags 
and all that stuff. It's just put studio, so it's just clean and easy for me to understand and maintain. And then also another sequence I have is a email sequence, like an email notification for me. So whenever there's a new lead that's added to the work for to this workflow to this Google Sheet, I get an email notification like, okay, this is the lead that was added. Yes, I just got it. Okay, I don't want to show you the name, but one second. Okay, whatever, you can just see, ah man, okay, just trust me on this, I'm getting the email. <laughs> yeah, so new lead has been new lead with the email. So I get the name, I get the ad set, I get the email, and I just get it in my inbox. So this is the one that takes care of that. And then what we need to do is, okay, let's say there's a new lead that has been added here. Now we want to add them to our email sequence. So I use system.io which is a alternative for ClickFunnels and it's free. So I love, I love free stuff, obviously because I went broke as well a few weeks ago uh, when I was in Thailand. But anyway, I'm, okay, I'm not broke right now, but still I love this even more. So I have this email sequence over here and I wanna add them to this email sequence. So what I do is this, I'll show you first with make.com, which is gonna be easier for you to understand if you're non-technical and then I'll show you what I actually do. Okay, so a new lead has been added here. When a new lead is added over here, it checks every 15 minutes, I think. Yeah, so it checks every 50. Okay, but this is not running, so yeah, it's not checking. So it uh, checks when there's a new row added, a new lead added. It uses the tool to split up the first name and the last name. So you, the, the user can enter the full name or they just enter the first name. This is what takes care. You can just copy, you can just... Uh, Take a screenshot of this and put it in chat GPT and ask chat GPT to re recreate this. Here is the whole module as well. You just want to take a screenshot, put it on chat GPT and you can recreate it. But yeah, so what this, this part does is it separates the full name into the first name and last name because that's what we need for system IO. So yeah, here we put the email. This is the one, this is the note to create a new contact. So this is what, okay, we put the email, we put the first name and the surname and then we need to put a tag. So we assign a tag to the new contact that has just been created. And why this is important is because, okay, so it adds the tag, social transformation tag. And why this is important is because when the tag is added to the contact, that's when they're automatically added to the email sequence. I'll show you how. So in system.io, I've created this automation rule where it's like social transformation tag has been added, automatically adds them to the email sequence. So now the new person that you saw had, that has been added, what happens to them is, okay, they, they come to the leads hub, and then they get created as a contact here in system.io and they get assigned the tag. So now they're automatically also in my email sequence and I had, not, I had to do nothing. So now every day for seven days, they'll get my seven step email sequence. So that's absolutely perfect, all automated. I have nothing to do. And what I do now, instead of using make.com, which is, you know, which I have to pay for like a bunch of tasks and I just don't want that control. Now it's all, now this one is all un under my control. I'll show you which one. Leads hub to system.io. Yes, this is it. So the only tricky situation, this is the Google ads, the Google trigger. So whenever there's a row added, it just edits the field, same like split the first name, last name adds it to contact and adds the tag to and adds a tag to the contract. So the pro, the tricky situation with this was there was no system.io module. So if you don't want to deal with that, you just go directly from make.com because they had it. But here I did something else. So you can add the HTTP node, which is like, one second, let me just show you. What you can do is just HTTP node. Ah, no. Back, back, don't mess this up. Yeah, let's just add a new node over here. Add node, yeah, HTTP node. So what, what we can do over here is we can use the API. So system.io has an API. So this is a bit complicated, but yeah, this is the link system.developer.system.io reference API. So now let's say we wanna get a collection of all resources or we wanna create a contact resource. So we go here, create a contact resource. And here you put the API key, your API key, which you get from, where do you get it from? Yeah, you go to settings in your system.io account, settings, and then you go to public API keys and you get the API key. You can just copy paste this. So obviously when you create a new one, you get to see it completely. And you put that over here. So I've just put a random API key now and you get this curl request. 
So this is the a URL which you use and you'll get the new contact created with your authentication, with your login. So what you do is just you copy this here, you go to this and then you click on image. Oh man, that showed my API key. Now I'll have to like cut that part of the video. But okay, yeah, you copy paste this over here and you press import and it just imports everything over here. So you get the random API key, all that stuff here. And then you just test all these executions. I'm going to delete this for now to keep this simple. Uh, side note, if you want to get be more in depth, if you want to learn more about this in depth, how I set up the NA10, how I self hosted it, it's on my own server, how I have full control and all these other little, little things. Let's just uh, discard this. Yeah. Leave without saving. So it keeps working. And yeah. So if you want to know all of that stuff, you can just click one of the links. Either that's going to be a, a way to book a discovery call or you can just text me on Telegram and we can speak about some consulting solutions if you'd like. And yeah, that's it. And this is one of my other automations, which is this is an AI agent, which is actually going to post this video. I'm just going to upload this video to Google Drive and this automation. Let me show you this AI agent is going to use AI to come up with a title and a description and it's also aut automatically going to post this video to YouTube. It's going to add it to my content tracker and it's going to also send me an email. So yeah, if you want this one, uh, you just go to clicks.zenical.com slash waitlist. Clicks is QLIX. Link will be in the description for this one as well. Uh, you can join the waitlist for that. And yeah, anyway, these were the AI agent. These were the automations. These are the four I use. Again, to recap, use this to make your whole lead management and automation workflow easier because you're not supposed to be working in the business. You're supposed to be working on the business. Oh, damn, it's already 9.30. I'm only half an hour. But okay, fine. Uh, yeah, you are supposed to be working on the business. So what you do is like how you saw that whole situation I have. Now that person just became a lead and it's all just automated. So you build these systems to automate your entire lead, lead workflow, marketing workflow and all that stuff. So you can just relax and just chill and all this is going to work in the back. So now I have to go because I've only 30 minutes. I'm going to head, head to the gym because I haven't gone in a while. And I saw I'm starting to get a bit of a tummy, man. So I can't be having that because it's November, December, bender season. I'm going to be throwing my parties. I'm going to be doing the bar takeovers. I know my own parties, inviting all the baddies. So I can't be fat, you know, for that stuff. Also, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow over here, my first tattoo. Uh, apparently, I can't work out for a week. And uh, yeah, so might as well just get it done now. And also, if you want to see more of this, just subscribe to the YouTube and join the waitlist for the other stuff. And also unrelated, if you want to see the benders that I'm going to be throwing in November, December, all the you know bar takeovers and all that stuff, just follow my Instagram. All that will be documented over there. And I'll also be doing the behind the scenes on this channel where I'll be explaining the intricacies of how I do it. How do I throw these parties? All that kind of all that kind of stuff, and ideally when I'm going to be throwing the parties as well, when I'm getting drunk, hungover, these automations are going to be working in the back for me, so I won't feel as guilty. And yeah, just going to live it up. I'm going to head to the gym now. And thank you for watching the video, and thank you for allowing me to share my genius with you. Anyway, take care, and I will speak to you soon. Adios.